Man, do I love how those drones do that initial spread. It is so efficient. So much goes into those opening seconds to give that bot a boost. Oh, our Protoss bot has announced his intention to execute his macro plan. But with his name, the Golden Armada, I'm guessing that means we're gonna see some Sky Toss. Which kind of begs the question, is Queenbot gonna bring us a strategy that's focused around Queens? Because if so, that sounds like something that would match up really good against Sky Toss. Can you imagine if it turns out to be Queens using Microbial Shroud? I'd go nuts. Anyways, it looks like Protoss is gonna do a gateway at the natural while Zerg is gonna go hatch first. And this is unfolding on one of my favorite maps, Curious Minds. This map actually had the honor of being the game seven map, the tiebreaker in the grand finals at Katowice. I feel like I should congratulate the map maker Milo on that. And coming up, we should see Extractor Pool. On that note, let's do some intros. Our Zerg bot is the Beyonce of Zerg because she's Queen Bot. Current SC2 rank 12. Protoss is going Nexus before Core. There is no pylon in the Protoss main, so I assume that core is going down as part of the Protoss wall. Our Protoss bot was created by the Order of Hierarch Artanus with the intention of using it to retake ire. It is the Golden Armada! Current SC2 rank 21. Okay, so I'm late catching on to this, but that was not an extractor pool. That was just a pool. Zerg looks to be going gasless, or at least gas late. Queens do not actually require gas, just minerals. I'm starting to think Queen Bot might be serious about this queen commitment. We got double queens coming up, no ling. Core is gonna complete for the golden armada. We are looking for that Stargate, and there it is. A Stalker is being Chrono Boosted up as well. And we'll be looking for that all-important Warp Gate research. I'm always a little bit nervous when I see the Stargate being put in as part of the wall. Hey, but I get jittery when the core is part of the wall, and that's not going away anytime soon. Oh, Golden Armada immediately starts up with a plus one air. He's skipping or at least delaying Warp Gate research. Meanwhile, we've got a quick third for our Zerg player. You can certainly do that when you delay the gas. First two queens are out and two more are on the way. So this is kind of neat. Both our bots are skipping something in order to fulfill the destinies for which they have been named. At least that's what it seems like to me. Zerg going gasless and Protoss forsaking warp gates. Oh, never mind. As soon as I make a big deal out of it, Zerg starts up an extractor. Also a fourth base, it's only been three minutes. That is fast. And since the third hatch is now complete, Queen Bot is officially making Queens three at a time. No Zerglings, no Roach Warren, just drones and Queens. One of the advantages with this strategy is all the larva is free for droning. But as good as Queens are at defending, they're not so great against the Protoss Death Ball. Okay, Void Ray is out, and it looks like Golden Armada's trying to secure his third base. I feel like Queen Bot was pretty vulnerable to a rush, but Golden Armada executes the plan, which was macro, and didn't scout what he was up against. So, sure, Protoss misses a window, but that doesn't mean he can't just force open a door later. If we're gonna be treated to a late game Sky Toss army, with precision control from a high APM bot, then I will be a happy man here. Fourth is about to finish, and the incomes are definitely starting to hum for both our players. Everybody's skipping on units and just cranking out the workers. I think Queenbot might actually be going for a fifth. Yes, she is. This is like relentless expansion. Queenbot is getting her first upgrade, it's Overlord Speed. This kind of violates the sacred law that Zerg's first upgrade must be Ling Speed. Leave it to those silicone robots to break all of our cornerstone taboos. Golden is slowly adding to his void ray count, but also getting a robo. And, and, and a fleet beacon. I guess we saw that coming. Can't have a golden armada without a fleet beacon, but getting it before the five minute mark is pretty quick. 
That's not a real phoenix. You're just on the peyote. That is a hallucination. And that crazy red trail is a whole bunch of movement clicks. I think Golden's just showboating there. But he's gonna get the scout and see that his opponent has an obscene number of queens. Golden's APM was looking pretty insane there. Yeah, 13,000. But come on, some of that was spamming or perhaps joyriding. Anywho, there's still not a lot of units for Protoss, and I'm a little bit worried he could be exposed to a Queen Walk. Here we go, he's gonna add a second Stargate, and he's already got his Robo Bay underway. But he's still only got a single Gateway, and he doesn't have Warp Gate research. Hold a second, what's going on in the top right here? We have Macro Hatches. I guess if you're only making Queens, you need extra hatches. This is a little bit crazy sauce, I'm liking this. Queen Bot's already making queens four at a time. She's up to 17 and rising. That's a lot of transfuses and it's a lot of creep tumors. Hold the phone though, Golden's pushing out. He does have an observer somewhere, so maybe he can pare back his creep a little bit. But he certainly doesn't have a force that's big enough to take on that horde of queens. But you never know, I've kind of given up predicting AI matches because the micro is such a huge component. But it looks like Golden agrees with me. He sees the barbarian horde of queens and pulls back. I'd be like, I need seven gateways stat. Oh my god, Queenbot's putting down hatcheries at the Protoss' triangular third. Two, in fact. This is like robotic smack. And she's getting plus one ranged attack, which is apparently just for the queens. Golden's making double tempted, and he's also getting Colossus range. I don't know, it feels a little bit like the Protoss macro is moving at half speed compared to the Zerg. Queen production is six at a time. Also, there's a Nidus network going down. 40,000 APM for the Golden Armada. Those stalkers are doing some serious work here. They are dancing an Irish jig here. But two just got pinned in the corner. They don't have Blink. He doesn't have a Twilight Council. Dude's got a fleet beacon, but he doesn't have a twilight count. He is a highly specialized bot. Oh, Golden put a stop to the hatcheries at his triangular third, but Queen Bot is just gonna keep on coming. But put a pin in that thought because we have a Nidus Worm coming up, right next to that precious fleet beacon, no less. It looks like Creep is across more than half the map at this point. Nobody's surprised by that. And now just a ton of queens are piling into the Protoss main. You want to bet they're going to drop a few creep killers in least? Golden's got a Colossus there to take some shots at the queen. It's just too many. Whatever queen gets hit, there's like three queens behind it ready to transfuse. Oh, Golden's getting confused by the fact that he can't build on creep. He's got a pylon there and it's confusing him. All of Golden's essential tech is under fire at this point. He is making a mothership. Perhaps that can reverse his fortune. There's just a single overseer for Queenbot. If he can snipe that, maybe then he can hold out. The Tempest outranged the Queen, but he needs 10 more of them before they can really get anything done. At this point, Queenbot is making more hatcheries than Golden is making units. And Golden is bleeding probes at this point. I think he's trying to transfer them away from his natural, and they are just running straight into the Queen. Protoss is getting creamed on resources lost. He loses a critical pylon. That's it for his production facilities. He also loses his plus two air attack research, but he does win a special award for overlapping the most thematic possible. I think I see a fleet peak and a forge and a gateway all in there. Queen Bot is officially making queens 10 at a time. That's an impressive number. The queens in the main are going to meet up with the queens in the natural. They are crushing the Protoss in between like a vice. Can that mothership get out? Even if it does, I'd be afraid the queens would just take it down. Golden's got to rally all of his units underneath it, and I'm not sure he can get them there. You know what? I think I just clued in that Queen Bot never made a lair. She's doing this all off of hatchery check. Oh, the queens are all leaving. Were they fooled by the cloak? Yes, it looks like Golden Armada managed to save his Nexus there. Or did they just leave that job for the queens upstairs? Now the Zerg third is under threat. There's nothing there to defend it but one Tempest and one Stalker. Golden is only producing probes at this point, and I think the game is done. 
His fourth base hasn't been discovered, and I guess technically he could rebuild there, but he doesn't seem to be. 15 kills on that immortal. That immortal is working hard, micering his butt off, but he is just irrelevant. The queen production briefly made it up to 15 at a time, but now it's dropped down all the way to 11. I'd love to see if Queenbot can actually max out on queens, but I'm afraid this game's gonna be over before then. But you never know, Queenbot is not scouting that fourth base. Oh, that immortal is definitely auditioning for the MVP on the losing team. Golden trying to rebuild it as natural, but that's not gonna happen. I think what we're waiting to see is if Queenbot is gonna push her creep into the fourth base. She doesn't seem to be able to scout it otherwise. It's like the one blind spot on the map that she has. The mothership is getting awful low on hit points. I think I'm just gonna have to come to terms with the fact that the Golden Armada never really achieved gold status. Maybe not silver either. Perhaps it's the Topaz Armada. That Colossus has been a bit of a survivor too. Oh, we got trash talk from Queenbot. That's over 80% of the map covered in creep. How did you let that happen, she says. If only psychological warfare worked on robots. But Queenbot doesn't need to intimidate her opponent at this point. Just eliminate him. He's supply blocked, and he's down to seven workers. Just look at that army. Queenbot is indeed going to max out. She's turning south. Has she found the fourth base? This is probably a good time for me to reiterate that Blizzard's original concept was that the Queen was going to be a hero unit like the Mothership. There was only going to be one, but at this point, Queen Buck's got over 60 in climbing. Oh, she finally got that hero Colossus and one of the two Tempests. We are looking at Golden's last two units here. He's got five workers, two of which are coming to die. Golden's got quite a bank, mostly because every time he tries to spend it, it fails. He just can't build on the creek. If only he could build in his fourth base. Oh, Queen Bot starts up plus three, plus three. Why? Because she maxed out and can't build any more queens. This looks like one of these unit tester mods. 60 queens versus 500 marines. Only we're kind of missing the 500 marines. Queen Bot's on the move again. Has she found the bottom left base? She's making a beeline for it. A queen bee line. And she's found it. Stick a fork in me. I am done. But come on, this map is a work of art, isn't it? A thousand hatcheries, a million creep tumors, no tech structures beyond a spawning pool in Evo chambers. Who needs a roach warren? Layers are for wimps. Spires and infestation pits are for losers. This is how Queen Bot gets it done. And here comes our elimination. Congratulations to Queenbot for a very stylish victory. <laughs> All right, just for the record, the final number was 78 queens. That's a pretty high volume of queenage. So we get a very interesting but very one-sided affair. A bit of an unfortunate build order matchup, really. With that initial push, we see unupgraded stalkers backed by no warp gates. And that is all that's available to escort the delicate void rays against pure queen. In a game with human players, I think if the toss player just researches zealot charge and warps in a ton of zealots, the queen player simply can't make replacement queens in the hatcheries fast enough, and Zerg dies pretty quickly. We'd be watching a very different game. Dollar for dollar, the zealots can tank enough queen shots, and they'll get the surface area they need to find value. But that's not what Golden Armada was built to do. We never really got to see Golden's final form or anything quite close to it. For good or for ill, Queen Bot stole the show here. Now, in defense of Golden, He's a top 25 bot, so I think in normal circumstances, he's got a lot more to show us. Now, I should add, although I'm confident charge lots could cook Queen Bot's build in a game with human players, I can't honestly be sure what would happen in an AI game, because I may not understand the true potential of mass queens under the control of AI, 
We're talking about AI with APM in the thousands, transfusing at the exact right place and at the exact right time. I bet it makes those queens a lot better than I think. By the way, I didn't realize it at the time I was actually casting the game, but I now appreciate both of today's bots, Queenbot and the Golden Armada, actually have the same creator, a programmer named Rasper. So if you think of it, Rasper's children were pretty much fighting one another. So my hat's off to him for playing both sides of a very interesting game. A game so interesting that for some inexplicable reason, it inspired me to come up with a new graphic. Check this out. May you dance like no one is watching. But may you also watch like no one is dancing. And no, I don't really know what it means either. But I feel like it must be very deep. So you might have to tolerate me running this clip every now and then. Special thanks to all the new subscribers. As always, you guys keep me going. So let me just say, from my base to yours, Zugs Wang out. To continue your StarCraft journey, Nova advises you to click the video in the upper rectangle. But Kerrigan warns you to watch your six and click the video in the bottom rectangle. Or you can stimpack your StarCraft experience. Subscribe to Zugs Wang StarCraft. Just hit the circle. From my base to yours, Zugs Wang out.